So Hollow Halls Dungeons. Now it says dungeons, which is very interesting to me. Um, I think this might have something to do with at the bottom. It says something about instanced dungeons. Now here's what here's my here's my what is it kind of conspiracy about this. This is what I think it's gonna be, and I hope it's gonna be this. Is you know right now like all the gear is obtainable from a chest essentially like you just go farm the same chest over and over again and you get the you know all the good all the good gear theory yes that's the word so what i'm thinking is maybe they're going to add in like instance dungeons which if you don't know what an instance is it's like you go through a portal you're inside of an instance you complete the dungeon and you leave the instance right so kind of like world of warcraft or anything that has something similar to that yes please make me grind for gear that's where i'm heading with that that's where I'm heading with that is I'm hoping, I hope, I hope, I hope we're going to get some sort of instanced dungeon that is going to allow us to have, you know, dungeon specific drops. You can only get them from these bosses inside of this dungeon. That would be freaking cool. That would be so freaking cool. Now you guys are mining, mine this thing. Ping, 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 ping. There we go. You guys on YouTube can't mine it. Sorry. You got to come to Twitch for all that cool stuff. So yeah, that's what I think that's going to be. And since this is the only one on the list, maybe they're starting off with just one dungeon, but this has potential to <laughs> we the miners. This has potential to be uh, something kind of crazy. So we're just going to go freaking left to right here. Steam Deck support. I don't know if any of you guys have a Steam Deck, but I don't have a Steam Deck, so I don't really care. <laughs> uh, performance improvements is always good. Anytime, anytime we can do performance, you know, that's always going to be a huge W. Workshops craft from magic chest. Now this is freaking huge, dude. This is huge. This is actually huge. I'm super stoked about this. So what this means is say, say you have a kiln, right? Or a smithy, right? Is that what it's called? A smithy that makes bars or forge or whatever it is. Currently you have to take your copper ore and your charcoal to the forge. So with this being implemented, we won't have to do that anymore. We can just straight up like, you know, just like we're crafting on a table from chests. We'll also be able to craft bars and shit as well, like queue up bars and stuff. So that's awesome. Improved loot UI. I don't know what they're planning on doing, but I guess they're planning on improving the UI somehow. I don't know what they could do. I kind of like the way it is right now. What up, Giraffe? Uh, location improvements. This could mean a number of things, right? I hope, I hope what this means like in kind of a gray area type of thing is i hope that they add map filters so that what's can... up gamers welcome in what up dark wing what up giraffe i hope i hope we get the ability to you know pull up our map and filter what we want to see right because all of you know that that map is hard as hell to read hard as hell to read so that would be huge now see this is weird because we're using the word instances again. I don't really know what this is going to mean, right? So is this saying like we can go get the carpenter from two different locations or we can go get the blacksmith from multiple locations? Or does it mean that they are going to turn the NPC pickup quests into dungeons? You know, that's what I'm wondering is if maybe maybe like when you walk when you go to the place to pick up the blacksmith, you have to go in, in inside and do like a mini dungeon in order to, to complete it. Oh, able to summon multiple. Oh, that might be it too. That might be it too. Yeah. 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 You might, you might be right actually. Yeah. So you can have like five, you know, everybody can have their own individual summon multiples. Yeah. Okay. You guys are definitely on track there. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, reassignable glider shortcut for those of you like me that, double tap space bar and fall off your build every three freaking seconds this might be huge although i don't know what the hell else i would bind it to i don't have a clue but i'll get used to it if it means i'm not gonna glide off of my builds kind of bummed about that one yeah i don't know it's they have kind of a weird they have kind of a weird game when it comes to that whole summon an npc to your base thing you know nobody else has done anything like that so it's kind of they're just kind of like inventing their own way of doing it and I see where a lot of people in multiplayer games are 
you know, upset because, you know, they built their base and their friends built their base and like, hey, I stole the blacksmith or where'd the blacksmith go? He's over here. Blah, 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 blah. I like the lore that the crafters are the last ones left. Having three Oswalds make it weird. <laughs> yeah, true. Sitting on furniture, self-explanatory, little RP action there. I don't mind that. I like a little RP, you know what I mean? Uh, improved post-processing. So that has something to do with just like loading the game up, I might imagine. Uh, new building materials. We can't tell what it is because it just looks like a bunch of blurry pixels. But, you know, new building materials. W. Huge W, obviously. Obviously, especially for all of us. Potted plants is another W for us. That'll be sweet, so we don't have to do any weird janky stuff to try and come up with a way to make a potted plant. Round windows and doors. I mean, yeah, okay. I'm not a huge fan of round doors, dude. But for all the hobbit hole extraordinaires, they will probably click their heels together for this one, I would imagine. Yeah, exactly, hobbit house. Definitely got some hobbit vibes to it, right? Better quest sorting. Um, I don't know if I've ever had to sort a quest before. So this one doesn't really uh, appeal to me all too much. That's just a filler. They just put that in there because they didn't have enough to make three rows. Server gameplay settings. You know, this is interesting. And and they and I hope to God that they add a more of like an admin type person like in a server setting, right? Because right now, and the reason that enshrouded servers are so sketch is because, yeah, you can password protect them. Uh, but say say you didn't i guess and say there's no griefers in the world or whatever the hell like if 10 people log on your server like you don't you can't currently get like a history of people that have logged in and logged off your server like they really need to do some server side uh quality of life stuff or the ability to kick someone or ban someone or whitelist and blacklist people like all that needs to happen for sure. And I and I hope to God that this falls under this category a little bit, you know? Server so user rights, same situation. Musical instruments is kind of interesting. If only they make a loot class. Imagine, like a bard, right? A bard? That would be cool. <laughs> if I can play a flute, we need bard bards stat. Yeah, that'd be cool, dude. Imagine if they introduced a new class too. Because I, te I guess technically there's three classes, right? A mage, an archer, or a warrior. Although you can go a little bit of heals and a little bit of warrior and be a paladin, or you could be like, a, you know, this, that, or the other thing. Essentially, ultimately, there's three builds. That would be cool to have something else if that's what they intend on doing. Musical skill tree for like AOE buffs. Yes. Make it, make it more party. Uh, congrats on your place on building. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, editable signs, obviously that's a huge W that, that should have been, that should have been off the bat, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Up the beat. Thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Edible signs definitely should have happened already. I'm just saying, but that's good that it's at least on the roadmap. Uh, vanity system, maybe cosmetics coming. Uh, take my money literally take my money if you're gonna give me cosmetics for enshrouded you can fucking have all of my money all of it just take it all i don't care i don't care how much it is just take it or maybe even like transmog transmog would be cool that's exactly what i said <laughs> yeah yeah or or yeah just the ability to make you know make more customized character just let me harvest my aloe thank you so much for the follow up the beat yeah so cosmetic stuff yeah, they can, you know, typically you don't see cosmetic items come in a game that you have to pay for. Usually that's free to play shit. But, you know, if they if they add it, I mean, I'm all over it. Absolutely. Animal farming is going to be awesome. Yo, no way. No way. James and Michelle, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, guys. How are you guys feeling? Are, you, are you they really feeling any better? Do you believe your own hype that much? I am the hype! Rattler Skippity Toilet. What's going on, man? Welcome in. God, Skippity Toilet. That gives me nightmares. That gives me nightmares. And my son knows what that shit is. That's crazy. What up, Chaotic? How you doing? Welcome in. How's James, how James and Michelle feeling? I know, they, I know they've been sick the past couple days. I think they got better today, though, huh? I don't like how the character creation doesn't have very much and you can't plant everything that's in the game yeah it's coming though how's it going pretty good man i'm muting i'm on love you Ooh. <laughs> all right 
Nasty, man. I blame my 13 year old. I could change it finally in two days. Oh, I see. I see. How's everyone this evening? What's up, Cam's Court? I forgot. I totally forgot I was recording this. I was recording this. Everybody say hi to YouTube. <laughs> because this is a YouTube video and we just got raided on a YouTube video. That's funny. Still coughing, but that does uh goes with the flu crap. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Skibbity for the follow. Welcome in. What's up, Bino? Still coughing, but that goes with the flu crap. I got you. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. Thank you guys so much for the raid. You guys are freaking awesome. I appreciate it big time. Uh animal farming. What do you guys think about animal farming? Animal farming coming to the game is gonna be huge. Minecraft limp. Thank you for the following. Appreciate you. I think that's a W. What can we get from animals, though? Fur? Leather? Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I think it's a natural course of gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> Opens up a lot. Yeah, I think so. I think so. We'll have to see what they do with that. I, I, I like the idea, obviously. Enemy patrols. So we're gonna have wandering. We're gonna have wandering groups of of enemies. I think this is pretty cool, and I also think this is pretty interesting because we don't have any sort of like base defense. You know, there's like nothing we can do for base defense. So if there is wandering enemies, I hope that that they don't you know blow our shit up because that would suck. Because I know like the bow and arrow guys, right? They have explosive explosive crossbows. The flame altar is our defense. Oh my God, uh, they're reading my mind. I was just gonna say there's no actual th threats to our base. Yeah. Can't wait to get ganked by a patrol while building. <laughs> right? Pigs shouldn't have leather. <laughs> Pigs have leather? Pigs totally have weather. Leather. Speaking of weather, speaking of leather, weather. I sure hope to God they hit harder on this before they decide to add. Wait. When was there four rows? Bro, I stunned and skipped a whole row. Kiss my ass and call me Shirley. Holy crap. How did I? Bro, I don't, I don't, I'm all over the place. Yeah. I hope they I hope they increase the performance of the game before they add weather, because typically weather bogs down pretty hard on a game, for sure. Pigs give pleather. Oh, my God. Ding, 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 ding. You got it. Nameable map locations. This is something that we discussed on, you know, on the on the stream. So that's cool that they're doing that. Fixes and polishing is a little open ended. That's cool. New enemies and bosses. Hopefully this comes along with the instance, the instance based dungeons. Dude, I want that's like the biggest thing I want to see. And since it's at the top of their list, I think we might see that pretty soon. So that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Nameable bases. Yep. Enemy patrols. What else we got on here? Portals to other servers. This is totally yoinked from freaking Nightingale. I mean, I might I might just say that right now. Pigs give football leather and potato chips, I think. Name tombstones. So, yeah. So right now, if you're on a server and you got 10 people and, and five people die and never pick up their tombstone, like it just says tombstone. <laughs> so... You don't know whose shit is what, or if you both die in a boss fight, you don't know whose shit is what. So that'd be nice, I guess. Multiplayer pings. Yeah, that's okay. Mountain biome. Huge. I'd be excited to get back to playing this with purpose. So James and Michelle, I think I think something that's going to be happening is called uh, like instance-based dungeons. So think like, uh, you know, think like a boss fight on, uh, on, on Once Human. I think that's what it's going to be like, but like a dungeon with a boss fight at the end, hopefully to get gear specifically only obtainable from the dungeons. That would be the best route they could go, I think. I don't know if that's what they got planned, but that would be sick. Uh, do you think snow blocks will be a thing? Uh, I could definitely see that being a thing. Yeah. Do you want to build a snowman? Uh, that list has no particular order when we see it. It's just a general list. Toast confirmed this morning in Discord. Oh, that's fine. We can We can imagine though, right? We can imagine. Townsfolk pets. So I guess if we go to a town, we're gonna find we're gonna find random NPCs and random pets. Hopefully, like with the ability to take them home with us so we can populate our builds. That would be sick. That'd be really sick, actually. I don't know how they're gonna go about doing that. Uh, what did I miss up here? Better stack splitting. That's gonna be good because right now splitting stacks is kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, it'd be nice to have a slider for a specific amount of a freaking, you know, amount or whatever instead of just half. 
The Dungeons of Bosses are the two of them, the picture in the same green style. Yep. Improved post processing. We already looked at that. Smoother high FPS gameplay, hopefully. Water blocks, we already know the story with water blocks. Four million, four million copies sold, and we'll get water. That's what they said. Uh world events is world events would be kind of sick. Like imagine you're just like playing the game and all of a sudden it's like you know, like this place is under attack and like go kill them and you get some sort of reward from it or something. That would be pretty dope. That would be pretty cool. This is like future stuff though, right? A glimpse of some of the major features coming later this year. Andrew with the 23 months. Thank you, dude. They better fix performance before water. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Water and weather. Water and weather. Yeah. Well, and, I, and I'm curious how they're going to do it, right? Because are they going to try to follow in the footsteps of Minecraft to where, like, say you set a water block down and it can go, like, seven blocks in any direction before you have to put another one like how do you guys think they're gonna do water i really want to know y'all's thoughts on this because that would be the best course of action i think but then they're also gonna have to get rid of bottles of water right because don't we get bottles of water from the from the wells i guess it's like canteens or something but maybe maybe once we well here's a thought that they're probably that they might do because you know, like when you use water to make a potion or whatever, it the water, the container just disappears. So maybe the container just becomes empty and then you can refill it in either, you know, river water or well water, I guess. I don't know. And imagine, dude, imagine if when they implement water, they do it like Minecraft and you have to have water next to your crops or you have to water your crops. Dude, that's probably going to happen. That's probably, that's probably going to happen. You're going to have to water your crops. I'm calling it now, dude. I'm calling it. Uh, since they use more of a pixel voxel instead of box voxel, it should be very unique to their engine. Yeah. It might look like all those weird, like, realistic Minecraft water texture videos or whatever. <laughs> more biomes is exciting. That's kind of a no-given, though, I guess. Uh, create and share gameplay experiences. So this is taking a book out of Grounded, essentially. I know other places have done this, but like a marketplace where you can share your world, where other people can go, you know, check it out, download it and play it like download, be able to share your saves like in game. That would be that would be awesome. That would be pretty cool. That would make like these base tour type videos a lot, a lot easier to do for sure. Well, I wouldn't need a I wouldn't need a person with me, but kind of the whole point of the base tours is for a person to be with me, you know, sharing and visiting of bases. I don't really know how this is different than anything unless that falls under the same category as this or 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 hear me out create and share gameplay experiences instance based dungeons maybe you can find a party maybe the instance dungeons are are gonna be like you have to have a healer and a tank and a dps and that's what share gameplay experiences is i mean that would be cool would that not be cool that would be dope that'd be super dope imagine yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of like New World type of thing, yeah. Yeah, where you have to, like, form a party in order to even go in the dungeon. Like, they're not even soloable type of thing. If they didn't nerf the healer. Well, the healer didn't really get nerfed. Like, if you think about it, like, the passive healing buff got nerfed. Yeah, the, the healing aura, because the healing aura was broken. But, like, the healing spells kind of suck ass. They kind of need to buff them. Like, I don't know if you use, like, chain heal or anything like that, but they've sucked pretty bad, if we're being, if we're being honest. <laughs> At least they did, like, whenever I was playing with Triple Button that, whenever I very first started playing. Well, this is pretty sick, dude. This is pretty sick. I'm kind of stoked about it. There's so much good stuff, but here's the thing. I want to know what's coming out, like, soon <laughs> out of this whole list of shit. <laughs> we need new content, and we need it now, dude. I've seen the numbers in this game falling down, and it just sucks to see, especially after the tournament, unfortunately um so hopefully we get some new content soon because i want to make content for this game forever this is like my game dude the only place to get the water source block is in the dungeon instance <laughs> there you go husband says the dungeon is probably the gate leak yeah yeah it's the same it's the same thing right here yeah it's the exact same thing uh let me pull that up real quick for those of you that might not have seen it might not have seen it yeah this is this is the this is the supposed dungeon entrance right and I almost have a feeling I kind of know where this is. 
And I think it's right beside, I think this is right beside where my, where my base is at. Cause this all looks very familiar. I melee with weapons that grant healing per hit and minus 700 stamina gems. So it's rare. I need help from a healer. Yeah. But think about it in a, like a dungeon perspective, right? Like, because in most like MMOs and things like that, like there's, there's warriors with, you know, life on hit. They don't need as much healing, but if you're taking on like a crowd of elite enemies that pretty much the game forces you to be in a party. Like I'm just saying, if that was the case, that would be sick. That would be really cool to kind of force people to play together. I mean, yeah, that's fine. As long as they don't blow my build up, that's all I can care about. I think it right behind where my base is in the game and main one me and my friends made. Interesting. Once human pushed back and screwed us from our birthday stream content, now I have to find us 40 hours of something else to stream. Damn, you were gonna do a 40 hour stream for your birthday? Holy shit, what are you doing, a subathon or something? That's crazy. Shopping sim, <laughs> hell with that. Yeah, that's not, really their, that's not really their jam. Technically, it's not really my jam either, but people enjoy watching it, so it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to play and it's a lot of fun to watch, for sure. Which is what we're gonna be doing now that this video is over. And we're going to wrap this video up. Like and subscribe. Everybody say it in the chat. Like and subscribe. Let it ring. I see how it is. Yeah, there we go. Now we're looking famous. Scroll. Scroll. Yes, scroll. <laughs> oh, my God, Do you dude. really believe your own hype that much? <laughs> yes. I am the hype. Yes. Jiggy! Make me look famous. Hello there. <laughs> and there's James with the shake weight. Jesus Christ. <laughs>